Right, in this video, we're going to be uh, looking at uh, a problem out of our textbook, uh, OpenSex 4.34. Um, and this is going to help us introduce the idea of uh, tension uh, in ropes and, and kind of how we deal with ropes. Um, and also with um, uh, how to deal with uh, third law forces, or, or basically the idea of this, this whole idea of Newton's third law, where uh, each action has an equal and opposite reaction. We'll, we'll talk about what that what that means and how that works um, and how we might use that. Okay. So the scenario is this. We have uh, two guys. We have um, this superhero up here um, kind of holding onto a rope. That rope is then kind of connected to his body in some way. And then his trusty sidekick, that's the guy in the yellow, is kind of hanging down below him. Um, so basically what we're trying to do is we're given the masses. Uh, we know that the superhero's mass um, is uh, 90 kilograms. We know that uh, this guy's mass is um, uh, 55 kilograms. Um, and uh, we're just asked to find um, the tension in the different parts of the rope. Okay, first let's draw a free body diagram of the trusty sidekick. Alright, I'm going to label all of his variables. Uh, I'm going to label him TS. And this is a superhero. SH. Okay. First let's look at the trusty sidekick. You'll see why we're starting with him in a, in a second. Okay, so we have a trusty sidekick. I'm going to just draw him as a block. I know he doesn't look like a block, uh, but um, for right now it's just easier for me to draw that because I can, uh, everything will be a little clear. Um, okay, fine, I'll actually draw it. Let's draw it, let's draw it right. So let's get our actual trusty sidekick out here. Okay, let's get his hands up here. There we go, okay. Um, notice I'm not drawing the rope or anything else. That's because, again, when we're drawing free body diagrams, you really want to just draw the thing, or the person, or whatever, that you're actually interested in doing the free body diagram. So I'm showing his hands up above his head like that. I'm not actually showing the rope, and that that, that I've done on purpose. Okay, let's look at the um, the forces that are on the trusty sidekick. One, of course, uh, because he's a uh, is an object on Earth, is the force of gravity. Uh, he has a force of gravity which points straight down, and it calls FG of TS, which is force of gravity of the trusty sidekick. Um, the other thing that he feels, well you could say, well what else does he feel? Well he's not falling down, right? The reason he isn't falling down is because he also feels what's called a tension force, alright? That's pulling him up. Um, you know what this means, whenever I hold on to a rope, um, I, I, uh, if I'm hanging like this, I feel it pulling up on my hands. And kind of uh, pulling, keeping me up. Um, that's the tension force. Tension forces are interesting on, on ropes. They they always pull. They never push, um, which you probably know about about a, a rope. Um, and so that helps you to kind of do some of this analysis. Okay, so that's it for a trusty sidekick. He has a tension that's pulling him up. He has gravity that's pulling him down. Now let's look at the at, at the superhero. Superhero seems like he's got the same scenario, but we'll see in a second that he's a little different. Um, he also, of course, has uh, force of gravity pulling him down. All right, it's a force of gravity of him, so force of gravity of superhero. He also has a force of tension. Now this is a different force of tension than the other one, so I'm going to give it two. I'll go back and give this guy one. Okay. And the other interesting thing is this. If you notice over here, let's look over at the picture to the right. Um, you notice this rope actually the, is the, the rope that's pulling up on the trusty sidekick is, the same, is also pulling down on the superhero. So there's also a force down on the superhero, which is a force of tension. Okay? And this is where Newton's third law comes in. Um, what it says is that, so, this, um, the trusty sidekick is, has, um, the, 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 is, is pulling down on the superhero by the rope, okay? It turns out that the rope is 
pulling up on the trusty sidekick with the same amount that's pulling down on the superhero. Those are the same force, basically a force that um, the tension that's pulling down on the superhero's leg here is the same tension that's pulling up on the trusty sidekick's hand here. So this force of tension is the same as this force of tension. So I'm just going to label them both FT1. Right? Those are the same forces. Those are what's called a, a, a um, Newton's third law pair, or third law pairs. It's basically um, equal and opposite reactions. Okay, So the thing that's pulling down on the superhero is the same thing as pulling up on the trusty sidekick. That makes our final uh, analysis a little easier. So um, we're trying to find the tension. Um, so so let's go ahead and do this problem. For the uh, for the first part, um, or for for part B, we're supposed to find the tension in the rope above the superhero. Okay. Uh, that seems pretty hard. Let's skip to C first. I actually like C as a better one. Let's look at C first. Okay. Um, if we look at C, we're just trying to find the, the tension in the rope between the superhero and the trusty sidekick. That's this rope right here. That's the one that's related to the force of the tension one. That's FT1. Those, uh, those are the same, the same force. They should give us the same answer. Um, well, let's look at the trusty sidekick. All right, the trusty sidekick is stationary. They're both stationary. And you see for this trusty sidekick, FT1 has to be equal to FGTH, uh, F FGTS. We know that because of this. If we sum up all the forces in the Z, the Y direction of the trusty sidekick, we just get F of T1 plus F of G trusty sidekick. And that's equal to zero. Okay, or the other way to say that is f of t1 is equal to minus fg, trusty sidekick. Which makes sense because the force of gravity is going in the opposite direction of the trusty sidekick. Okay, so we can actually just solve for the force of tension one. Because we know what the trusty sidekick, what he feels due to the force of gravity. Um, it's just his mass, which is 55 kilograms, times gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. And I don't have a calculator, but that's um, okay. It's uh, um, about uh, 540 or so. Newtons. So that's part C. Now let's go back and find part B. Um, part B is a little harder. Um, we need to find the tension in the rope above the superhero. That's the tension up here. Okay, or that's this one right here, what we call FT2. Let's draw the equation for the, let's, let's write down the Newton's Newton second law for the, um, for the superhero. All right, so we need the sum of the forces in Y for the superhero. This is equal to F T two. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put minus signs for all my forces that are in the opposite direction. I didn't do that back over here for the gravity. I probably should have. Um, let's go ahead and fix that. It doesn't actually change the results that much. Um, but uh, if I would have put minus FGTS, and this would have been positive. It just was that those two things are equal. Anyway, it gives us the same answer. So we have FT2 here, going back to part B. FG2, then we have minus FG1 minus FG of the superhero. And that's all equal to zero. Or the other way to say that is that FT2 is equal to FG1. plus force of gravity of the superhero. We actually know what FT1 is. We already solved it. That's at 540 newtons. We know the force of gravity is just the, the superhero's weight. So we can just add those two up. 
so we have 540 newtons plus um, and then the uh, the superhero has uh, weighs 90 kilograms you just take 90 times 9.8 Alright, and then we just get um, whatever 90 times 9.8 is, let's say 85, uh, so 540 newtons plus, um, plus uh, you know, whatever, 8, uh, uh, 70 or whatever. I don't actually know that. So you should actually do it out with your calculators, but I'm just doing this off the cuff. So we get 0, uh, we get 0, 1. One nine around fourteen ten newtons. All right, and that's the tension in the top rope. So you see, the tension in the top rope is more than the tension in the bottom in the in the rope between the two of them. And that makes sense because uh, the the top rope has to hold both of them, where the one in between them is just holding the one of them. Um, so I hope that that makes a little clear how to do these these tension problems. How we just kind of go through slowly figure out the different parts. Also notice that I actually went through and solved this in the wrong way. Um, I'm sure there's a way to solve this a little differently, but this to me is the, the most straightforward way. And again, it takes advantage of the fact that we have these, this, um, this Newton third law thing where the, the, um, the rope that's pulling down on the superhero is the same rope that's pulling up on the, um, on, on the, uh, on the trusty sidekick. And they, have the, they make that nice um, the third law pair. Um, so I hope that all helps out, gives you some idea on how to do these types of problems. Uh, and if you have any questions, please come and ask me. Thanks. See you in class.